Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Rafi Wesk. Rafi West. I said Rafi Wesk. All right, I'll leave that in there. I'm um, going to come to you here from the desk of Rafi West. First, I want to talk about um, pooling. Pooling for a lottery. You know, uh, this is when people, it happens mainly at a place of occupation. It could happen anywhere when you pool your money. So you can play more games when you're going after a jackpot. Uh, this happens a lot in the bigger jackpots, you know, Mega Millions, Powerball. We just had a big Powerball recently. Um, and yeah, it kind of brings people at the workplace together at that time. It gets everybody closer because you play, you know, you pool your money together Uh Back in the day, there was a thing called syndicates, which was, was like a really large um, pool of sorts. Um, and they used to actually try to buy the jackpot. Um, you know, you would spend like, forget it. It would be any kind of job pool that, any, that anybody would have. So anyway, a few tips to pooling. First of all, this one might be hard to do, but you want to pool with winners. What I mean by that is um, people who have a positive self-image of themselves. Um, and one way to find this out is simply ask people, um, do you think you're lucky? And if they say something like, oh, please, with my luck, you know, oh, I, I never win anything. You don't want to be part of that pool. Like, um, that's why, like, I don't join the pool, um, you know, I hardly join any pools because even if one person says that and they're in that group, I don't want to be in that pool, you know, um, because to create luck, to be lucky, to be luckier, you have to have a positive self-image of yourself, you know, and you got to do that by setting short and long-term goals for yourself. Um, even the way you talk, you know, like I said, that response that you may hear about, um, oh, no, I'm not lucky with my luck, please. I never win anything. You don't want to be part of that pool. Okay, so you want to find people who perceive themselves as lucky, who have a positive self-image, and then you pull. Now, when you pull your money, you want to also know because most states, if anything over $600 is won, they want um, they want to cut a check to one claimant. So you also want to agree in there. You know, you want to also get this in writing. You want to agree who's going to be that one claimant. Now, depending on your state, you may ask if it's a large prize that you won, you know, one of the big jackpots, you may want to say... Um, you may want to cut a check to each person in the pool. Um, you got to get professional advice and a lawyer if you win. You, if you win a and you're in a pool, you can't just go and cash out. You know, you, you can't just go and claim your winning prize. You have to start forming a team. You know, you usually have a certain amount of time to cash in a winning ticket. So you want to go and form a team. You want to seek some professional legal advice and a lawyer. Um, you know, especially somebody who specializes in this kind of thing. So you should pretty much be doing your research beforehand. Remember, like, the power of intention can also help. So you want to prepare beforehand. Um, I wrote some notes here that I wanted to talk about, but yeah, you know, um, your subconscious knows if you're a winner or not, you know, and feeding positive things into your subconscious, you know, your subconscious is most open, you know, you have your conscious mind and then your subconscious, your subconscious is always listening. But more the first hour when you wake up in the morning and the first hour before you go to bed at night. So be careful what you put into it. Most people watch the news, especially in the evening, I guess, like 
crime, things like that, all the bad things that are happening, local news stuff. Be careful what you put into your subconscious mind. There's a whole book. There's some books on luck, like how to create luck. Remember, luck is more of an art than a science. Um, no one has it down pat, but you want to... Um, you want to have a positive self-image. So if you're going to belong to a pool, and you may not find one, you know. Also, keep your pool to maybe 20 people maximum, I would say. You know, it's just less complicated and things like that. So if you have a company with 300 people or 1,000 people who want to be in a pool, I would say keep it to between 10 and 20 people in the pool all right and that's um you know another thing is should people be contributing the same amount into the pool and um, most of the time they do you know but discuss all of that beforehand um, if some are going to contribute less when the win comes is everyone going to get an equal amount? Things like that. So all that is important, okay? So keep that in mind. And, um, you know, the and, you know, another thing, who wins these lotteries, pools or not? The people who win are the people who consistently invest time and effort into choosing their numbers, okay? Remember that. Remember that sentence. Most people who win are the people who consistently spend time and effort in selecting their numbers. Those are the people that mainly win. It's not the person... You know, we've heard of beginner's luck. It's usually not the person or the persons who played once their first time and stuff like that. I think I read somewhere that um, the lottery winners, um, the average they play before they win, like the big ones, they've been playing for at least a couple of years. So they've been playing for years before a hit. It's not that first time winner. So... If you think you're going to play once and give up, if you're really in this to have a chance of winning, you have to play for a while. That's just what the statistics show. People that have played for a while. So, and with the quick draw, that's not so much pooling. So can you pull quick draw? See, that's another thing. I, thought. I usually, that is like an individual game. So um, the advice that I'm giving here is more for the bigger jackpots. Um, it sounds rudimentary, but as simple as it sounds, you want to pool with people who see themselves as lucky. So when I say winners, people who acknowledge their luck, who see themselves as lucky, that's who you want to pool with. You don't want to pool with people who... Um, you know, talk like that, listen to what people say, not people that say, oh, it's just my bad luck, oh, with my luck, you know, that'll all collapse, don't pull with those people, listen, you want to pull with those jolly, positive self-image kind of people, it's very important, you know, because, um, you know, even though, like I said, that consistency of investing time and effort to play your numbers is even more important than luck. There is still a little bit of a luck component in there. So, you know, that's what I wanted to say about um, pooling. You know, um, like I said, the self-image, positive self-image. Talk about yourself in a positive way. Be a person who does things. Be a person who experiments with things. And um, invest time and effort in selecting your numbers. Use systems. 
watch my videos on um, the systems for quick draw um, the tips on other um, how to choose lottery numbers the best times to play watch those videos because um, that is putting effort in into it anybody could walk up to a uh, to an agent and play quick picks you know um, contrary to popular belief it's not the quick picks who win most of the time they want you to believe that all that's doing is um, making it even more random and harder to win so put effort into it don't just throw your money out the window you know you're better off going to buy a coffee or something then throw your money out the window by not putting effort and time into selecting your numbers okay so that's what I wanted to say about that um, all right I was gonna throw another personal development tip in here but I'm gonna save that for another time um, this is lottery related and um, like I said um, leave a like share this for anybody who's interested in the lottery and watch my other videos including my system my 444 system um, I've been receiving some good comments from people um, that I'm gonna try and modify my system or try other stuff I like when I get comments about other systems in here you can read them in the comments in my other videos there's some good tips in there and they keep coming in and I appreciate that because um, I'm gonna give them a try I'm gonna experiment so alright this is Rafi West and I'll see you guys another time peace